person that's full of comedy, joy, inspiration, music, mm -hmm. the word, of course. Um, I just a person that I just know to be, to have fun, man. I love to enjoy life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's, you only have one. You know, one song. Get one. Might as well get the best you can. Get one. They say saints always live twice. What's going on with that one? Yeah, we do. If you <laughs> get right, everybody going to get twice, depending on which home you go to, but you know, hey. Hey. Yeah. But, I, but with the one on earth, you get one. One. One good. That's right. So you got you one, one on earth. So you do. My boy said you got to do what you can while you're on earth, That's man. right. That's, That's right. It. So we know, most people, you just say you, you know, like to be a comedian sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I and many other people know you're a singer. Yeah. Um, so yeah. How, how, how does your singing career start? Like. How do you get into that? Like, you know, just got the mic one day and just went crazy? Nah, man. My mom, who cannot sing, pushed us out there. Like, my brothers and sisters, she pushed us out there. She was just like, uh, Tyler, I call her the man the most comical bus, bro. She was just like, Tyler, you know, you got a gift. And I want, you know, the world needs to hear it. And so I would get out there and I was timid. I didn't, I was stage fright. I, I couldn't stand to sing in front of big crowds. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be scared because, you know, in church people would scream. I, could, I used to have a big <laughs> night fear about it. If I heard somebody scream, it would just freak me out. I don't know what it would, of course. But, I mean, I started singing that, what, real, real young. Um, and so, I think I was in a, uh, was in a competition mm -hmm. that at the age of, what, 13? 13 or I was 11 or 13 was going on. And we sung a song, and that's when it was just like, oh, shoot. Bro, you really can like blow, blow, you know what I'm saying? But I never let it get to my head. You know? mm -hmm. I'm, I'm my worst critic. I tell myself yeah. all the time, bro, you could do better than that. You know what I'm saying? So you started singing at 13? No, I started singing at 9. You started singing at 9? I was 9. And how old are you now? I'm 23. 23? Yeah. Oh, that's I've, been in, uh, I've been preaching and singing since I was 9. Man, that boy, that, that, that 14 years. Yeah, it'll be 15 years in September. Man, 15 years in the industry. That yeah. boy's bad, y'all. Boy, bad man. Speaking yeah. of bad, did, did, yeah, man. How was that feeling when you um, John P. Key reached out to you, man? I was sleep. I was sleep, and I woke up like, okay. So first of all, when that video went viral, had no idea it was gonna go the way it did. I went to bed that night. I woke up the next morning to my Instagram was just like, I'm like, golly. Then it's like every day I woke up. It was somebody else. At first it was Kirk Franklin. The next day it was Drake. He followed me. And I was like, okay. Drake. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you know, that's big. Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was communicating with Drake and everything over, you know, my Instagram and stuff. He told me that my singing was helping him come through some search that he had to go through. And it was it was giving him strength that he needed. Um, and then when John Piquet reached out, I was like, bro, this, I woke up and it was, I had, my phone was full of text messages, missed calls. My mama had had a full conversation with the man. Oh, yeah. Gave the man my number and everything. He called me and it was his he up a voicemail. I said, somebody, they playing me, bro. I called his phone back. It was him. He, his voicemail came up. I said, bro, this is legit. This is legit. And working with him, I did a song um, on the Rance Allen tribute that they're doing. I mm -hmm. was able to do a song on one of the, uh, one, I'll be on one of the songs that they have. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you just thought. When you were doing that rant style, you were just being... I was just there. playing like I used to. I was just playing around because my friends was just like, bro, you sound just like dude. And anytime time we get together, they be like, hit rants real quick. You know what I'm saying? But that night, I was like, I wasn't trying to be spurry. I was just playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to see that. No that, idea. That's how you know you get the... What, what, what you say? Um, what's his name? Drake? Mm -hmm. Drake would say he was going through something, but you helped him get... Just yeah, like, never would have thought. Playing. Right. Never yeah. would have thought... And then the industry that he's in, like the type of music that he does and what I do is two different sets, but you just, you just, it shows you that your gift is not only for the church. My gift is not only for the church. And that's what I know about the orders and my gift to expand to even the secular world. Mm -hmm. I've had uh, Violin Davis share my mm -hmm. thing. Um, um, 
so many other people uh, commenting and was listening to us. So like, it's not just for the church. Everybody has heard it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I mean, if you gifted, I feel like if you gifted, it's going to touch. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to. It's going to touch people. How can how can they know who Christ is if I'm only saying to people that know him? That's it. He, he came for the unbeliever, so. Yeah. That's it. Like, in, in, in naturality, from my hometown, like, more people know me, like, that's in the street. Mm hmm more than you know in church yeah you know what I'm saying people gonna know I'm in church because I go to church but right. you'll be surprised mm -hmm. like I'm going to a gas station hey what up boy yeah <laughs> like, what up yeah and half the time I'll be I mean I can't tell you how many times I don't went out of town I'm saying to myself anybody gonna know me like, what's up Tom and you know me I unless you just weird I don't like to make people feel weird so I try to make people feel like like I've been knowing them for years something like man what's up man I can't really talk about it oh okay then you know what I'm saying yeah, so you know, that's getting used. How do you get used to like? I know, I know mm -hmm. for a fact when you go places, people are like Tyler. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you, you know how the time I get. You can do that with paint in the face and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. They be like, you you the Red Salmon dude. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You the one that be singing Red Salmon. What what? The thing is, like when I first started, bro. Every time I went live, every time I went somewhere, he Red Salmon for us. I'm like. Lord, that right there. I love man. It was good. You were, Come on, the race. Hit. Ah! Every time I was saying, <laughs> hit the race for me, bro. Hey, man, y'all subscribe and stop playing.